Well, I'll try and be quick, um, but you know, it's a, it's a year, and Annabel was uh, saying earlier how uh, we've worked and helped a, and, and been helped by a lot of organizations over the year. Um, so this is really just a, a bit of a showcase of one of those, and I know we've had a, Tom already explaining a bit about the forum. But just looking back in one year in, in how Clean Coast has helped Malesco and Malesco has helped Clean Coast, um, I just want to focus on three in particular um, uh, themes that ran there. Um, the first was, uh, I know we've seen this picture quite a few times today, but uh, the first was we were doing through Clean Coast the uh, trying to implement events to um, uh, uh, kind of educate people about the marine litter, uh, the marine strategy framework directive, and um, so we were arranging uh, Coast Guest seminars and. One area there was doing talks, and uh, through Tom's uh, great uh, knowledge and expertise that he brings in the science, as well as uh, um, his his kind of many years of working at a university level, um, it, it was we, we kind of teamed up a bit and did a series of marine litter talks, um, and. Uh, it was, um, it was, you know, it was a mix of uh, a coast care presentation. It was uh, a mix of looking at the marine litter, uh, marine strategy framework directive. But I, the, you know, the main focus was Tom was going in in depth onto the marine litter and uh, trying to, in the end, after an hour's talk, um, show to that community group how incredibly valuable um, doing cleanups are. So that this was uh, some of the. Uh, these were the talks that we did uh, together. There were four in Cork, four community areas in Cork, and one in Arklow. Um, so it was, uh, it was great. And, uh, you know, it was a mixed turn up. Um, it, but, it, you know, in every, everyone that turned up there was very involved throughout the year in doing uh, cleanups. And it was, it, was, it was a great kind of event. So I'm going to move on. You've heard a little bit about the National Forum. This was something the Marlisco were arranging, and we were very um, fortunate to, to play a helping role in, 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 their, in their work by being invited into it and um, Annabelle represented uh, Clean Coast on the day. A wonderful opportunity for stakeholders around uh, the whole area of uh, litter, plastics, recycling, cleaning up to come together and really professionally um, thrash out the issues and possible solutions. Um, and also there were these um, community pods that were around the country where they were able to link in via um, online, uh, kind of on streaming online. And, you know, these were coast care groups and various community groups um, that were participating during that day from, from, you know, their areas. And it was all arranged. So that was very uh, great for, for a clean coast to be able to help through, through the, um, uh, quite, a, quite a few groups that were participating there. So then the, the last kind of big event, in a way, that uh, we were kind of helping each other as organizations um, was, was a big clean-up in Cork. Um, I've been living down in Cork up until just this summer for the last few years. Um, and uh, just uh, to kind of set the scene in this one particular area, um, the rail, Irish rail, passes between Cove and Cork, and it's, um, it's an extremely busy section there of the of the rail just to give put that into perspective you've got um uh large towns like yall like um cove uh, middleton um you've got attractions like photo uh, the jameson distillery in middleton um photo house uh you know 130,000 approximately visitors visiting photo wildlife park um, you know, that's a huge amount of people coming there. So just to, that's along that stretch people are, are, are commuting. Um, here's the section there, just to the, to the right is uh, the Dunkettle Interchange. And there's this short little, um, uh, little kind of coastal stretch where you've got two rivers um, that kind of meet and you also have the tidal sea. Um, so so it, it's, a, it's a real trap. So, a resident of uh, Cove, Tidy Towns, brought to attention that along this stretch, because I, I didn't take this rail trip myself, um, for, for a, really, I didn't have the reason to, really. Um, and um, 
he brought this to attention. This was a major black spot along the route. This is visible to all. The, this is the approach into Cork City and, and coming out towards Cove. So, you know, it was, it was a terrible um, sight there. Um, I tried to kind of make initial, you know, investigations, how to get this cleaned up, who to approach. Um, and one thing and another and just busy with other things and, and actually it was a complicated issue here. Um, you've got, it's the land of Port of Cork. Uh, it was an area beside a business. Uh, local authority didn't really have much kind of say in there. You have to pass various security channels to get to it. It, it, it was riddled with complications, to be honest, to get this clean, clean up. And um, it just it, it didn't happen in the end of 2013. Um, but you can see, like it was a it was a terrible thing, and that this wasn't going away. So a second visit, in kind of by spring, and you could see the accumulation was getting worse. And of course, the the January storms. I mean, this was a serious, serious um, uh, uh, black spot, you know, along um, along kind of what the what the every visitor sees along the rail. So it got to kind of a, a crucial point, had to be done. Um, and again, as I said, it was very complicated, but. We managed to find a way and get together, and during Clean Coast Week, um, the Port of Cork, uh, after kind of several meetings to have with them, they, they, they were very supportive and, and we we're going to supply skips. Cove Tidy Towns were going to get involved. Malisco were um, going to try and get a lot of people from the CMRC, um, and they provided lunch as well for the volunteers. The Tr Crosby's Trans Car, which is the business right beside the, the black spot, um, you know, they, they helped with kind of opening up and we could access from their area. The ideal scenario is the local authority could have, in a way, come in and, and, and cleared up. But it, it was, it's, it's tricky, the access to get down from their area without the Port of Cork side. And it, you know, it, was, it was riddled with complications. So this is the best scenario that we parked up at the business and, um, and when we got stuck in. And it was, it was a hard graft that day. Um, one of the complications is we had to bring all the rubbish that we collected across the, wa the main water pipe that leads, um, that, 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 that kind of caters for Cork City. And it just mean, meant having to carry everything across this long bridge. Um, so that, that was really the only practical way, other than if we were going to leave it for months later and try and stop traffic at this incredibly busy interchange to get trucks down. Um, you know, so it, it, this was the easiest way, but it just meant we had to work harder. Um, there's Tom uh, getting stuck in there, if he's still, if he's with us here. Um, so it was a great collaboration there of a lot of different people, and we really did a massive clean-up of that, of that area. We filled two skips, um, and uh, also with us was a lady that... Um, uh, she is from the UK and she's a photographer and she's main area is focusing on marine litter in a very artistic way and we were kind of involved in a way with her on various different community cleanups but this one she was she was involved and educated us a bit and showcased some of her work um, so it was a great collaboration and I really on behalf of Clean Coast we really want to say a massive thank you to Marlisco for all the help and uh, support and encouragement and in a way teamwork you know on that um, there is a, a short video if I can um, get the little mouse on this is just a short video of the um, it's just, it's only a couple of minutes long and it's of the forum um, if it will come on Okay. It's not really uh, it's not really loud enough, is it? <laughs> no. Okay. Listen, I think it's time for lunch. Um, <laughs> I. It was a great event. Thank you all so much. This is the champagne moment, and we're going to have a great time. So maybe a round of applause.